Hi everyone, this is Lillian Motambo. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream on Lillian Motambo TV. I'm glad to be here on this live stream to share a few things. And I wanted to pose this question to everybody that is watching me right now. Are we ready as Zambians for new leadership? I wanted to do a quick live stream so that I could catch up with you guys with regards to uh, what I normally do, which is what's in the papers. Um, and just discussing in general what's going on. And particularly, you heard the saga that went on uh, where uh, Madam Edith Nawaki had talked about the mines. Anyway, so this is uh, Friday's paper. Today is Saturday, but I bought this paper yesterday where HH had issued a warning um, where he says, if you are corrupt, you will bear the brunt along. You know, um, how are you? How's everyone? Let's talk about these things. So this is on page two. So that was the must newspaper. Uh, let's talk about this. Yes, hi, Karen, how are you? I've been busy, but I do some live streams as well. But sometimes I just want to do live streams with you, my subscribers, along. So we can discuss. So you know that, you know, we've been complaining about corruption in Zambia. And in this particular newspaper, uh, our president um, of UPND, you guys know that I belong to the UPND, uh, the UPND leader, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, has said that he's aware that there are so many straightforward people in PF. Straightforward by meaning, you know, they're not that straightforward, they are, they are fake. And um, he says th there are many straightforward people in PF government. He says a UPND government shall not be of lesser men like them, PF, and embark on a path of vindictiveness. Hichilema says in 2021, the catchphrase will be Chilamuntu Nechua Chaco. So each one and his own ghost or misdeeds. No, we want to prove to the people of Zambia that we are different. But to those who are dipping their fingers into state coffers, their fears of being out of government are justified. And this is why I, I wanted to title this particular topic, Are Zambians Ready for a Change? Are you ready for new leadership or are you still going to keep the same leadership um, just because you are in fear of, you know, change? That's what I wanted to ask. Nyota says, good evening, Zambians, Africans, and the diasporans. Thank you so much. Nyota is an amazing uh, channel supporter. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. She's even a moderator on my YouTube channel. Yeah, so corruption. We're talking about corruption. Um, so according to our president of UPND, Mr. Haka in the Hichilema, he says, you know, the reason why um, the government is in fear of change is because they know that they are dipping into state coffers. And the fear of being out of government means they can't uh, dip in again or they will be found out. And Mr. Haka in the Hichilema says, and let me tell you here that there are so many straightforward people in PF as a party and in government itself. And that we know too well, Hichilema said in an interview. But I believe you know of the proverbial story of one rotten nut, don't you? To those straightforward men and women in there, I say to them, sleep without qualms. Your job is not only to secure, but once we are in government, that job will pay you even better. So he is guaranteeing people good jobs, as long as they've been doing their jobs right. So people shouldn't really fear that automatically they're gonna lose their jobs. Um, you know, there's that fear. Uh, there's that fear. Oh, hi, Doris Wallace says, hi, Jamaica, love you. Thank you so much. Hi, Bethan, nice to see you. Uh, Kelly Malamba says, we're ready to vote. Yes, indeed, we're ready to vote. Um, we're ready to vote. Nyota says, they are fearing prison. So they are fearing prison, and that's the reason why they stated um, you know, that they will not be removed easily. Uh, 
they will not remove us easily. Uh, Collins Mulenga says, good evening, Madam Lily. You are an iron lady. Omar when we ne we ne. Thank you so much. So Kayombo believes that everybody need a change in Zambia. As, so do you agree that everybody in Zambia is ready for change? And that's what I wanted to ask. Are you guys ready for change? Uh, Celistas Musumia says, why is it that these guys talk about privatization always? When elections are, are coming around, Lily challenged them to go to court since Nawakwi has come out as a state witness on Monday they go to court. Yes, they need to go to court. And we need um, to challenge these guys with what they have been doing um, by, you know, let them say things as it is. Is it true that the mines were sold by Mr. Haka in the Hitchlam? And why is it that Nawaku is a state witness? I've shared on my, on my, on my YouTube channel a documentary which was done by, you know, I'm not so sure who the guys are, but it's a powerful documentary which shows what really happened. Please, Nyota, drop the link of the video. Uh, any of you, my moderators, drop the link of the video. The video simply tells us what happened to the mines. And, you know, Eden Nawaku was basically blaming the IMF. And she was saying the IMF are the reason why the mines were sold because they advised them to sell the mines. And then there's somebody from Switzerland that was saying, no, the IMF can never advise you uh, to uh, sell your own mines. So they, that's a lie that they told Zambians. And I think then uh, Frederick Chiluba and his team thought Zambians were naive we're blind, obviously, after having um, uh, Kenneth Kaunda, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, for 27 years, and we were just shifting from, you know, the type of government that we had to now a democracy. So he was just selling, 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 you know, acquiring wealth. And I was shocked that he sold, is it KCCM for 680 million? And yet KCCM mine itself is, you know, worth billions. Uh, Zambia is the second largest copper producing um, country in Africa, but we are still poor. Um, so Kayombo, Kayombo says, no, our HH can't do that. And bearing in mind, Mr. Haka in the Hichilema was only, um, only, only about 29 years old. And Madam Edith Nawaku was the finance minister. How possible was that? Uh, Crypto Doza says I only visited Zambia from South Africa and I really love the place and these uh, people from that day I started following updates on Zambia and I don't really love these guys what they are doing exactly they're not doing anything good especially to the Zambian people people are really really struggling in Zambia it's not even a joke and my appeal to you my subscribers that live abroad you can super chat you can donate please join our egg project. The egg project simply means we buy a hundred eggs for a branch and that money that they make out of selling those eggs is at least their money that they can boost themselves and reorder those eggs. It's important to empower as many people. So you can choose to even donate to one, two, three, four, five branches if you want or just one branch every month. It's fine. At least we can empower 100 branches that's my goal to empower at least 100 branches i have with me lots of letters and proposals from you know different people some want to sell charcoal like this proposal is talking about selling charcoal and the government itself doesn't boost the people this branch is called talemanazo and this branch was opened uh, on the 21st of august by me uh, and they want that type of empowerment. I've got lots of letters which I'm dealing with. And because of the corruption in Zambia, that's why even our current government can't help uh, sustain the livelihoods of people. And now, like somebody has commented, there is some money that they are giving out. 1,600 kwacha, which is about 60 pounds, about $70, which they are giving out to whoever 
uh, wants that money, as long as you give them your NRC, uh, you know, card, your membership, your registration card, which is more or less like your membership to the country, Zambia. But your identity, uh, for those of you who live in America, we are talking about you giving your, your um, what do you call it in America? In, in the UK, we call it the NI number, um, in, in your social security, which is your identity. You know, and HH has talked about this, that, you know, he promises that those who have uh, committed, you know, all those crimes of corruption will be held accountable once we are voted in government. And he's been confident about forming government. And Mr. Hichilema has said he wholly understood the frustrations of Zambians. And that the close to 10 years ago, we in the UPND were the first ones to wave the red flag about this economic mismanagement. And that's what's happening. The current government cannot manage the resources well. And people are really, really struggling. There's poverty in Zambia. You can see it just by looking. I'll tell you what I did today. I had a last 300 kwacha on me. And after having a meeting where I saw people in Kalikiliki, and I thought to myself, okay, and I was told, okay, that's the last meeting. I was like, oh, okay. I took my last 300 kwacha and I gave them for them to buy at least some vegetables, some something, you know, because it was a group of women. The way they were so happy with the money, it just tells you that, you know, people really need support. I'm talking about a group of people. And by God's grace, somebody from the UK uh, called me and sent me another surprise. And I was like, you know, there's just something about being a giver. When you give, um, God blesses you. And that is why these guys who are in government that keep on getting, 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 and they don't give, they want to get, get, get more. I'm sure they blow up their money. Because if you are a giver, look at any millionaire. Most millionaires give out. Bill Gates gives out. Um, any millionaire that you can point at, Liko Dangote, they give out a lot of their money. And even Mr. Haka in the Hichilema, he pays for some students at the University of Zambia. I wasn't even aware of this, but he never really, you know, talks about it. But I have discovered that he really pays for some students at the University of Zambia on a full scholarship, year in, year out. He's paying for their fees. A lot of them, more than like, I think about a hundred of them, he pays for them. And that's why he's the richest man in, in Zambia till date. Despite all these other people, like, for example, Edith Nawaki, that worked with him during the time of privatization, he is a millionaire and she's <laughs> nowhere near him. She's not even on the top 10 richest people in, in Zambia. It just shows you that Mr. Haka in the Chilama has a brain to make money. And he used whatever he benefited long ago uh, when he was contracted as an economist, as an advisor to the government to multiply his funds. Now that's a brain. Whilst others blew their money. We've seen videos. You've seen the video that I shared. We've seen videos of how the let former president, uh, Frederick Titus Chilua, was buying shoes, suits, ties, designer ties. And the other day I was reading an article where Mr. Haka in the HLM said, look, I've denied myself all the luxuries in this world just for me to have, you know, acquired the success that I have. I deprived myself of beautiful cars. If I'm not mistaken, he only has a Toyota or something like that. Like, you know, he has those type of cars. Okay. How are you, black son? Ah, oh, Sharon from Jamaica. Um, okay, Namukolo Lisulo says, change is needed, Lily. Enough is enough. We are not fools. We, we deserve a breather, Mwevan, to please. I'm with you all the way. So if, if you are saying you guys are ready for change, then I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that Zambians are ready for change. Um, Crypto Doza says, I once visited Zambia from... Say, okay, I read that already. Priska says, hey, baby girl, we love you. Well done. Thank you so much. Chimunya Shanka says you're an iron lady. Mola Nyambe says no employment, no welfare. And that's why you need somebody like some of us who are qualified social workers who know the importance of putting people first. You know, because that's what we've 
uh, been doing in our profession is putting the people first, looking at the needs of the people and then helping them in order for them to sustain their livelihoods. I was giving an example uh, where I was visiting uh, today in Kali Click and I told them, look, uh, I've worked in hospitals where the British government pays for somebody who's suffering from mental health issues, each person a 5,000 pounds a week for 24 hour care. So if that's possible, then um, we can also have some form of care, even if it's $200 a week per person. We can. It's possible. But we have leaders who've misplaced their priorities. Okay, Francis says, and stop blocking those who don't agree with your certain issues. Uh, leader Francis, somebody, I don't know what you mean about that. Uh, good evening, Madam. Change must be there. We need to try another challenge. The thing is, I'll answer you, um, uh, Francis. Many of you people, um, especially people on social media from Zambia, some of you, uh, Facebook, you don't know how to respect someone when you're commenting. You just comment anyhow. And that's why I love YouTube. Because on YouTube, people know the level of respect. You can't just call someone names. You know, just because you feel you want to call someone else. So if you come to my page and say something which is demeaning, I'll block you. I did a video where I was explaining how Kadas came to attack us. The full video is an hour. And I mentioned about myself, talked about, you know, I said, oh, look, I'm beautiful. If, um, you know, the way I'm beautiful, I know my heart is the same as well. And people just pick that small part and they've made it trend to discredit the work that I'm putting because they're feeling the pressure. The thing is they've been looking for... If I had mentioned that the current MP, Madam Kandoluo, I had mentioned that she looks like this, she looks like that, then you'd say, no, no, no. But I just said, look, if you see how I look... But anyway, I've written a statement and I've said I was replying based on the fact that cadres from PF came to attack us. And why have they come to attack us? Because they're feeling the pressure. I've also explained that we have had a, a timetable as a team in my constituency where we are visiting places. We're visiting places based on our timetable. So how come other candidates have not been attacked except me? It shows you that they are feeling the way they are feeling the pressure. That is why they are looking for any propaganda to talk about me, to say this, to say that. I was invited for a TV interview where the person who was interviewing me, I think the guy was paid, and all he was doing is discrediting me. Oh, how can you just come all the way from the UK and you say you want to be an MP? I said, excuse me? We've had uh, people who were raised in Nigeria go to the UK and they are now mayors of towns. Nobody said, who are you, when there's white people who were born and raised in Britain. And that's what we need to change. That's why I keep on saying, are we ready for change as Zambians? Because if we are not ready for change, we will be looking at how can somebody come from the diaspora all the way to come and uh, stand as an MP. I have every right, and it's my constitutional right, that as a Zambian citizen, and I was born and raised in Zambia, I am entitled to stand as a member of parliament. And believe it or not, I will say this again and again because I'm confident that I will be adopted and I will stand as an MP next year. The fights that I'm receiving now is evidence that people are feeling my weight and the pressure. And all they are doing is going left, right and center. So if somebody comes to my page and insults me when I did not insult anyone, I will block it. That's just the truth. So I will delete and block. Okay, Biswell says, good evening, madam. Change must be there. We need to try another level. Uh, Beatrice says, everyone is desperate for money. And see how PF is dishing out money in return for an NRC in numbers. Uh, yes, so that's the video that my super moderator, Miss Nyota, is dropping for who really saw the Zambian minds. Was it Mr. Haka in the Hichilema or Mrs. Edith Nawakwi? Joseph Mbondo says, this time it's HH. Come 2021, we are behind you, Lily. Thank you so much. Uh, Victor says, uh, he's monitoring closely. Yes, you have to. Sakala Martin says, hi, Lily. Evening, whatever the PF will do, don't be intimidated. 
We are really behind you, dear. My vote is for you. And we are waiting for you this coming week here in Chelston, Kamanga area. Yes, I will be there. You know, they felt the pressure. Other can, like now there's another candidate who's going to go to Kalikiliki. I can guarantee you they are not even going to pass through. But they followed me twice in Kalikiliki. In Mutendere, Madam Kandoluo suddenly has started going to Mutendere because she has been told that somebody came here. You know, so she's feeling the weight and the pressure. Shanik says, HH has spoken his truth. PF uh, has turned Miss Nawaku into a mayor cadre. She is. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Tega Egui says, how much is 100 crates of egg? I would like to support. Thank you so much. Miss Nyota, don't forget to drop the comment with my details. So it's 3,600 kwacha. 3,600 kwacha for the 100 trays of eggs. Believe you me, my people know that I have YouTube supporters that support me. So even when I'm giving them, I'll even tell them that, look, this is also contribution from my supporters. So a 100 tray. Right now I have a Talema Nazo uh, branch that want 100 trays of eggs. I have a Chilufia branch that wants 100 tray of eggs. So if you help during this COVID, a lot of people will really appreciate. I received another letter from uh, Kalikiliki. This one is called Transformer Branch. They also want 100 trays of eggs. And I like the way they are writing to me very formally. You know, and among the aspiring candidates, I'm the only one that is asking for proposals. Because I know that together we can. And that's why my theme has been together we can. It's not Lillian can, but together we will do this. This one is also from We Are Branch as well. They submitted yesterday. All these are proposals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, another letter, uh, seven. Uh, these ones want boiler chickens. Their project is 6,000. I'll do this one separate, but six of these. And I think there's, oh yeah, six, seven, <laughs> eight. So that's 800 eggs, eight, 800 egg trays needed for these people. You empower one branch, you do a good job. You can empower two, three, four. And I'll tell them, and I'll do, the ones that come from my subscribers, I'll make sure I do live stream videos and I'll say, I want to thank my YouTube subscribers for the support and the love that they're giving me. I won't mention a name for reasons that people can come and follow you to say, can we have donations and money? You know how these things are. But there's a lady in America who contacted me as well. She says, look, I want to support you with two, you know, 200 egg trays every month. I know the project is big and she really wants to support. Okay. Uh, where is the money they are giving people from? And I hope that people are not voting no. Okay? Uh, Francis Samparudo, insulting commentator, will be blocked. Yeah, even YouTube blocks such people. Uh, Makandal, a lot of respect for you, Miss Lily. The work ends up paying for a strong Zambia, strong people. Long live Zambia, long live Africa, free unite. Super Ken says they hate HH because he warned them about economic meltdown. He's an economist. Like I said in my other video, an economist knows the economy. <laughs> so that's why we need to have a bank manager, a governor who knows the economy. Okay, so Beatrice made says 1,600 uh, NRC, please talk about it because uh, we will be waiting for 2021 whilst uh, voting through the empowerment program. Why NRC? Those, in my assumptions, will be rejected votes. So once you issue... Your NRC, your vote will be rejected. That is why I am pushing for this empowerment program for my people in my constituency. And I like what Lusaka Central aspiring MP Haimbe has done as well. He has also empowered his people through chickens, you know, by giving them a lump sum, maybe like a 5,000 kwacha, and then he's made it go around. And he's been doing that for years anyway, but and, and it's doing well as well. So we, what we need is to empower these people. Once we empower them, they know that once we form government, they will not need to even, you know, 
give up their finances or anything. That's why we need to empower these people. So please, my subscribers, it's my appeal to you. That's why I'm doing this video on my own a live stream so that when you come and watch this video, wherever you are, 3,600 kwacha is about um, $150 or so, $200. And that also includes transport. I keep invoices and receipts as well because that's for you to also see that I am not just doing this. So this is one of the eggs that I bought a few days ago, and that was 3,600 kwacha. I told the girl, give me um, an invoice so and a receipt so that I should keep this in here. Step on it, step on it. Um, so 3,600, then I pay a, a van to help me deliver in those locations, maybe about 80 kwacha, 100 kwacha, 150 kwacha. So I just say on transport 150, because you know, even the people are helping you to load. You know, Zambia, people people are suffering. You pay them at least 20, 20 kwacha. So altogether, 3,850 kwacha. Pay 100 trays. You will do an amazing work. Once we are doing this, people will support us more and more. And also, I would like to tell you about something. Let me show you some images. Uh, I started also, you know, empowering the young people in terms of footballs. And yesterday I delivered four balls and that same uh, team went for a tournament today. I got them like a small canter. Transport was 400 kwacha and then some lunch as well. They were about 37. I gave them another 400 kwacha and it was all with the structures. You know, with UPND you have to work with the structures and the structures is who? The UPND executives, you know, the ward executives. So they were there, they witnessed all that. Um, I just want to show you some images of the balls and um, so that you can see what happened yesterday. So this was yesterday. Oh, so this was yesterday. You know, but I want to show you an image of the ball that they had. It was pathetic. And the balls are 450 quarter, but I'm getting discount of 400. This was the ball that they had. We are trying to take the kids off the streets. These children, if they are not off the streets, they will be drinking kachasu and chibuku. And they, the women, young girls, will be pregnant. You don't want to have teenagers having babies. But the girls also, they are also playing football. That's the ball they had. Look at the ball. Now imagine them having a ball when the minister who lives nearby the area, Boman Lusambo, is bragging about 2 million kwacha. That's why I'm asking this question. Are Zambians ready for change? You know, when we talk about empowering young lives, we are helping them to look at the bigger picture. That Look, we can vote for right leadership that can bring change. And that's why I was so excited yesterday to deliver these balls. So I'll be sharing this little video on my platform. So this is what happened yesterday. I'll just share. Let me put some volume. Yes. And the young ones were very excited, you know, that they've never had anybody donate them balls before, never. The coach used his own money to get a, a ball that he would, you know, mend every time for them to play football. So I got them four balls. So if you are a soccer fan like me, please help on the balls as well. Okay, Austin says, evening, honorable. We are very much ready to change and we'll make sure we win with a big margin that can be, that cannot be manipulated. Uh, also a big hand to um, Chela, I like his space, may he keep it up and keep on encouraging him, okay. Uh, Davis Kapalu says, Madam Lily, you are doing a tremendous job. I can see that you're 100% on ground, thumbs up. God bless you. In abundance, my sister, I sent two emails. I guess you have been busy, I'll check them again. Um, Super Ken says, PF are corrupt so much that they fear change of government. And that's what Mr. Aka in the Ch Lema has said as well. You know, um, anybody who's living a straightforwardness will not fear change. 
and those that are fearing change is because they know that they have been corrupt and that's why they will do anything in their power to retain power. I, we've seen the police guns. Um, another thing that I've also forgotten to mention to you is, the thing is I don't want to make people uh, feel pity for me or feel sorry for me that maybe I'm in trouble. Or whatever, whatever. Um, after I did a video complaining, I'll share the video on my platform so that I just didn't want to share without you understanding. After doing a, uh, sharing a video where I was complaining about uh, how the cutters came to Mr. Sinonga's house, um, the video has gone viral, by the way. It's on Diamond TV, it's on Movie TV, and Movie TV keeps on playing it every time, you know. So they now try to, you know, use propaganda to discredit me by saying, look at what she's saying, how can she be an MP? You know, about the one I was talking about, I am beautiful, and, you know, the video that they are sharing on Facebook. And then, for me, I, I, I was just, you know, saying to myself that if people are really, really ready for change, they cannot be supporting evil. You know, people have now turned against me by saying, oh, you were talking about Madame Kandoluo. And yet the subject matter was we don't need cutters. The cutterism that happened in that area, we don't need cutters. And then because I complained bitterly and it's gone all over, it's trending, they now have started sending the police. This is a true story. It's not even a joke. Police came to one of the meetings to disrupt the meeting under what you call unlawful gathering during COVID-19. Why? Because they can feel the pressure in what I'm doing. Because I'm big on, on social media and I'm getting bigger on ground and it's not a joke. Ask anybody who has heard of my name, they will tell you because I work and I deliver. And that is why for me, when I'm appealing to my subscribers, it's because my subscribers, you people know that I work and I deliver what I need to. Let's take the young people off the streets by buying them bowls. Each bowl, instead of it being 450 kwacha, I'm being given at 400 kwacha. And there's a budget of 20 bowls, which I need. And this is an invoice I got. I have a bill, an invoice of 20,000 kwacha of the things I need for football just to empower these young people it's not a joke different teams so 20 balls is 408,000 kwacha that's the invoice i got yesterday you will see the videos you will see me live there sharing these things so this um invoice shows 20 tango footballs um two jersey sets three four and goalkeeper and everything um uh, two sets of bibs, 650 nets, markers, cons. This contribution, if you do it as well, you are taking people off the streets. So you can choose either the eggs or the footballs. The balls that I, I've just shown you, this was my donation. 1,600 kwacha. Somebody, one of you, my subscribers, you, my subscribers, I love you, honestly. One of you, my subscribers, sent me a message is this your number i want to confirm i said yes it's my number and the person sent me 1130 kwacha and all i did was add 500 to buy four balls so thank you so much for your support i am so grateful believe you me we are doing this for the people of zambia every little helps to take the kids from streets to take the women from Poverty. Those that were working as maids cannot work as maids because of COVID-19. Men that were working as drivers or garden boys cannot work because of COVID-19. They've been told, go home. It's Corona. Because now families where maybe somebody works in an office, they're working from home. My sister is, is an accountant. She's a manager. She's working from home now. And one of my other cousins as well, they found somebody with COVID at the office. They've shut down the office. My brother-in-law as, well, as well saying. So most people are working from home, so they don't need maids. You know, so these people need to be empowered. And they are ready for change if you and me are ready as well to help them any little way. The goodness is that people don't forget. Um, 
uh, Gelly Hancombo says, we are ready for change. Kindly preach on love you. Thank you so much. Uh, Crypto Doza says, I'm proud of you. So please, my subscribers, those of you who are in Zambia or abroad, 20 pounds is a lot of money. $10 is a lot of money. 20 pounds or $20 can buy a ball. And that ball, when the young people get the ball, it changes their mindset. So, okay, there's somebody who cares about us. That's why I made sure the young children that were going for football today, I made sure I gave them packed lunch money for them to buy at least buckets of Hungry Lion, and, um, which is like Kentucky Fried Chicken, but better, and transport. So that they should feel that there's somebody who cares about them. You know, otherwise, there is no hope in this government. That's just the truth. It's always good to be on ground, to see things for yourselves with your two eyes. You look at the situation. I mean, if you want this current government to carry on, then I don't know what you're looking for in this world. Because the same current government, they have not put up a clinic in a place called Kalikiliki, one of the areas in, in my constituency. And I'm asking myself, in 2021, are people going to vote for these people? Who have never put a clinic for the past 10 years, 20 years, or whatever years. The current MP has been there for 10 years. Okay, so uh, Felix Perry says we want change. We want to change. Uh, we went, you know, we want change in 2021. Uh, trust me, Madam UPND is winning, definitely. Uh, Nyota says absolutely uh, correct. Nyota um, is saying that to Super Ken's comment. HH warned them about economic meltdown, and he was right. Now they are trying to distract Zambians from the fact by bringing in privatization. Super KCP says we have not much to say, or oh, what we have to do is remove them. Uh, power, we want change. Ngabalea, Tuanaka. Balea, they should go. That's what you mean. Um, Betha Mwalusaka says, don't worry, Lily, there's a lot of pressure in PM. Uh, Super KCP says, we are ready to change, Valeria. Um, we are ready. So many people are ready. Even in the compounds, when you go, you speak to people, they will say, Talema. Talema, mami, njala. Meaning, we are hungry, mami. We are tired. You know, uh, Natasha says, PF is feeling the pressure. PF Kuya Bebel. Because they know that I've witnessed the real deal. You know, rather than when you hear stories on media and you just say, oh, people are suffering, but you are on ground, you're seeing those things, and you're like, okay, so truly these guys are not doing their work. Um, Shenik says HH was clever to invest his money wisely. And the more he gives, the more God blesses him. The people, these people are just jealous that uh, wasted the money. <laughs> Funds they store on crap. HH is a wise man and every wise man. And, and I was reading an article. <laughs> it was funny. And this article was talking about that, you know, life is funny. A few years ago, one person was part of privatization, took the money and invested in a business and became the richest man in Zambia. And whilst the other person defrauded a, a widow and was very poor, bankrupt. And, you know, the statement was referring to what's happening now. To say, look, you better choose wisely in terms of leadership. And that's my plea to you, all my subscribers. Give Mr. Haka Inde Hichilema a chance. I have never met him. I don't even have a chance to meet him. If I've even met him, you can say, ah, the man told me. I have never even met him. So I'm, I'm asking you to please give him a chance. So you can watch that video. Hi, Ene Kaenga says, hi, Lily Nakonde, Team Red. Yes. Felix P says, madam, don't worry at all. Me, my vote, will I will give it to HH. They see voting is a secret. They say voting is a secret. But to me, on 2021, my vote goes to HH, no secret. <laughs> Uh, Kalaluka Wamundila says, we are very much ready for change. Lily, may God bless you. Yes. So together we can. That's the slogan that I use even on my t-shirts, Khadija. Uh, together we can. Even on my flyers, I put together we can. Oh, by the way, um, I'm also printing flyers as well. So these are my flyers. I've given out so many of them, but I, I want to show you. Uh, these are my flyers. 
So each flyer looks like this. Yeah. And my slogan is together we can. Together we can. You, my subscribers, and me, and Zambian people on ground, and everybody, together we can. We need to work as a team in order for us to change our country, Zambia. So these ones, I get them, uh, I get a discount uh, to have them printed. And the company that does it for me is a very good company. They give me 500 of them for a thousand kwacha, for two kwacha. Yeah. So these are also important. You are sending your message and you are also distributing. Uh, a few years ago, a pastor told me that I was going to be a member of parliament and I was going to be as far as high office, presidential office. Actually, that was a prophecy and I said, this man is a liar. How can I be a president? How? Who? Where? You know, but for me to even declare that I wanted to stand, I'm, I'm still baffled. I'm, I still feel like it's a dream that I declared my interest to stand in the 2021 elections. And thank you so much for your support, my subscribers. Amazing supporters on Facebook. Okay, thank you so much. Um, uh, Afia says, Madam, we don't want this rolling of PF. We are tired of it. Uh, Kelly Malambo says, please, we know we are winning. And we hope and pray that there will be a difference because we are tired. And that's why I said, even in the people of Monali, said, look, pick a candidate that's going to speak for you. Even in parliament, and things are not, I'll say, uh, we said we're going to do this for the people. Can we fulfill the needs of the people? Uh, Gemma Teka said, no amount of pressure from PF will stop you and us together, Lily, turn on more heat, honorable. Imano Kapila, Lily, keep the fire burning. And you see, uh, people are not understanding what I'm doing by, you know, going around <laughs> uh, in the, the constituency. Uh, some people are saying it's too early. What do you mean it's too early? People are sitting hungry. This is a time to visit people. Listen to their needs. What's going on, my people? Tell me what's going on. Because when the elections start, you know, when they begin and there's rallies, this person needs to speak and that one, people will be busy, you know. This is the time they need to know you better as a candidate. And after I declared my interest, that's when other people came on board and they said they want to stand. So I've set the fire on the ground on fire. Thank you so much to a super charter. Thank you so much. I'll check who it is. So anybody who would like to support, you can send word remit. So Miss Nyota, you send the code do plus two six zero nine six so that other people can help as well. Uh, Frank Katembo says in dollar we are ready for change. Um, Remy says Mushili Kani Fanike. Not so sure. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Nyota, for doing that. Okay, Eric. Uh, Sia Chos says, thank you, mom, for making people be aware of what is happening in Zambia. Honestly, there is really, really poverty. Yes, um, Mr. Kochangwe says, Lily Food Bank for Manali support, please. Yes, you know, we will need a food bank. I think with a food bank, the best way to work with that is using the churches, working with the churches. Uh, that's the way it will, it will work better. Uh, so that people can receive some donations, but the poverty is real. It's real. Sylvia Siwa says, good evening, Honorable Lily. We are ready for change in Zambia forward. Okay. Um, Victor Sifuka says, well done, Lily. Go Zambia, go. I'm watching from Gaberon, Botswana. Thank you so much. Silas, amazing work. Uh, Danny, Nadine says, bye-bye to PF. Silas says, from York. Silas, Anybody in the UK, you should be sending me money. If you are in the UK, you should be sending money. <laughs> Dawson Tolodi says, you are doing it well, sister. Good works. Uh, ah, you carry up payments. He says, we need a government with a vision very much, dear. Yes. Chanda Augustine says, I'm watching you from Kawe. Watch your compound. Oh, wow. And people say, uh, people in the compounds don't have uh, media. People must be joking. Uh, okay, Lauren says, I own forward, forward, Chabe. Uh, Mary Dawn says, we seriously need change. Well done, Honorable. Thank you so much. Um, yes, so Dawson says, in 2016, uh, the polls were stolen, but this time we're watching. Uh, Sonica from Solwezi, thank you so much. 
uh, Richard says 2021 forward Chabe uh, chair one Bali has my vote good work honorable um, okay so Penyani Mo Paul Piri says what is the plan what is the plan do you have for the people of Zambia uh, the plan that I have for the people of Manali is a lot and the people of Zambia okay only cadres and tribalists vote PS definitely uh, Juane Elliott says PF has failed and have no answers to the current situation in Zambia. It is a reason they are shifting the attention of Zambians towards a single person who has nothing to do with the sale of the mines. Um, no change is happening, Lily. Don't defeat yourself, oh, Richard. Give us a break. Are you a Kada? <laughs> Uh, when cadres come and comment, I just laugh at them. Jackson Chase is watching from Kalulusha. I love you, Lily. Twanaka Naba Pompwe. We are tired. Oh, Tavain, how are you? Tavain Clark, reality. Um, Tavain, I'm from Jamaica. Do you remember? Yes, I remember you, Tavain. Uh, Dawson uh, Tolodi 2021 is UPND and HH. Okay, so they felt and there's so much pressure. You know, uh, Shanik says, each and every one of us is entitled to our own opinion, and so does Honorable Lee. Thank you so much. Hello, Lily. Thanks uh, for representing young people on the continent. In your opinion, what does the economic change look like uh, for you beyond 2021? For me, the economic change uh, will be better, uh, especially for the fact that this current government has been borrowing a lot. Uh, so what we'll do is with the resources that we have i believe that our country will do better and you see we have a lot of companies in zambia that are foreign investors that can donate a lot of things to our zambian people but they also lack that trust because they know that the people that they will donate things to they will never deliver those things you know i'll give an example in soloisi uh, we have the mines those mines are owned, first quantum they are minerals, they are, they are owned by an Australian company or so. So those guys had commissioned, I think they had given a donation about roads. And what people do is when they give them money, our own Zambian people, when they are given money, they chew the money and just grade the road. So what these guys do is they do their job themselves. So in all the areas where there's, you know, roads, uh, that they want to do the roads, the roads are done properly, they do a proper job. So if it means me, myself, working with the people on ground and saying, look, if we need the roads and you're there, you're monitoring and supervising and you give a credible company, things will be done better for the people. But then if you give somebody else to say, here is money, go and do the job, the job will never be done. That's what has been happening. There's been laziness where Funds are allocated to people, and then they don't do the good job. So I think for, when it comes to the economy, the economy will be better because then everybody that will be uh, handed money uh, for their constituency, for their departments, they will be accountable. They need to demonstrate what they have done with the funds. And it will be impossible for you to steal in, in, in UPND, believe you me. Everybody will be looking. What have you done with the money? Okay, uh, Patrick says implementation of good governance is one of the key priorities Zambian needs. Uh, Zambians need women support this initiative to revive the economy. Yes, thank you so much, Liso, for your contribution of fifty cents, which is four pounds thirty. Thank you so much, which is about five dollars. We love you, Lily. Thank you so much, everybody, for your love. For your love. Oh, hi, Lance Bison. Greetings, everyone from the USA. Thank you so much. Um, yes. Uh, hello, UPND. Bye bye, PF. Yes. Um, please, uh, people need to be thankful. Honorable Lily has given up her comfort to come to Zambia and she's standing up for us, the youth. Let's support instead of questioning her intentions. 2021, we're going to come, but this is dead. Yes. Yeah, and for those of you who may not be aware as well, uh, for those of you who are in the diaspora, the American embassy and other embassies, uh, the you know, UK embassy, they want to be involved in terms of accountability on the polling stations because of the voter 
you know, uh, situation where the, the, the votes are being stolen or being rejected. They want to monitor, and even the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church will monitor, so don't worry about your votes. Okay, what's your WhatsApp number? Please call that number that um, is being dropped. Uh -huh. Oh, Felix Lukaki says, Lily, my parents love you. Thank you so much. Tell them I love them too. Um, okay, Peter Puele says, what is your first take? as UPND to improve the economy in terms of agriculture when we give you an opportunity to govern. There's a lot. Mr. Hakainde has even said it. I mean, I don't even know why you are questioning all these things when the person who is heading the party is a millionaire, the richest man in Zambia. And agriculture made him the richest man in Zambia. So <laughs> he talked about low um, costs of seeds uh, when people want to acquire seeds and also you know, when people get um, loans for agriculture, they are made to pay hefty interests. So he says he's going to lower that. So when we talk about lowering the economy, those are the things. Uh, you know, some people have been hiking the prices because they want to benefit. So he will lower that. Same as the taxes as well. The taxes will be lowered once we form government. That one is a must. Uh, Lady Jane says, hi, how are you, Lady Jane? Um, okay, okay, so Salias says, DM me your number, please. Salias, that's the number that's being dropped. Please contribute, call me on that number. Um, I will really appreciate if you can, and then we can, uh, you can see how I'm, I'm spearheading the projects. If you want to donate towards the balls, believe you me, a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred is a lot of money to support the people of Zambia. You know, what we are doing, trays of eggs, about 250 pounds, 250 pounds, 260 pounds, is going to um, give two branches 200 eggs. So please, $300 is a lot of money. Support. So you can call that line. How are you, Matilda Michindu? Good to see you. The Blessed Life journey says, I look forward to the day when Africa will be the one donating to others and owning our own resources. All the best, Lily, be strong and courageous. Thank you so much. Um, Matilda Machinji says, people, the question. Somebody from the UK has just tried to call my line. I'm still doing a live stream. <laughs> That's the line. Call that line. That's a public number. Uh, it's also registered on uh, caller ID in case you're worried. If it's not my number. Yes, Silas, I will send you a message on WhatsApp. Let's talk donate you will never regret so in reading the article uh where uh, mr haka in the said one would have thought that this is relatively new pf team would be any better uh but uh, they came to entrench the economic mismanagement and to that add their dict dictatorial ways we all know that we are now in a dictatorship and you know a lot of people where we're always saying you are only speaking in the diaspora uh, you can't speak when you're on ground i'm in zambia now, and i'm still speaking because i know my right what i'm reading is in the papers and we're talking about this you can't say why are you speaking no what's there and there's facts we speak about it okay look at how many people are trying to call me guys i'm still on the live stream so mr haka in the said look at how many media institutions have been closed since 2016 to date and that's why i love my youtube channel because we can speak on this platform and you know this is true so many of these media platforms have been closed media institutions because the government doesn't want to give people an opportunity to speak and very soon people are even saying uh because dr uh, is it Dr. Chilua or Bishop Chilua was given uh, was given an opportunity to Mr. Haka in the H. Lema to speak on Kamini TV and people are saying, oh, he's risking his license, they can close him. But that's not the way it should be. Peter Puele says, by improvement in agriculture, I meant how is your government going to help improve local company standards? You will know. Because you see, what is happening is if if, if our government you know, starts saying these things now. I'm talking about our government, which we're going for. People will steal the ideas because they have the money. 
one of our aspiring candidates, Jaime, was on radio talking about cooperative works, talking about how he's going to do this. Exactly what he said, people stole his idea. So we're not going to allow people to steal our ideas. Just know that things will be better. I mean, one surety you should have is the president is a millionaire. Please do not stress too much. What you need to stress about is us having as many voters. Thank you so much, Matilda Muchindu. She's done a super chat of 20 Australian dollars. Please, Nyota, drop Matilda's movie. She just uh, released a movie which she shot in Nigeria. Just check out her channel, Matilda Muchindu TV channel. She has a movie. And Matilda, I'll also share it on my community tab today to remind people. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nato Telasano. Kennedy says, in, in 2021, I will stand on the edge of the Victoria Falls. The moment I will hear, and the winner is Lou. I'm jumping off. <laughs> uh, Lance says, with all the corruption that appears to be so rampant in Zambia, do any of these government officials ever start out being reputable people um not really for the fact that some of them have jumped from one party to the other you know like pf when it started it started okay and then when the leader you know the person with the vision mr michael chilufi sata may he so rest in peace died that was when the vision of the party went upside down and people from uh, the MMD government who had booted out started coming into PF. And now PF is like a jungle. So that's why I'm saying even in, in uh, uh, UPND, we have to be careful on whom we receive. Thank you so much, Matilda, for another super chat of $10. Please share the link of the scars of the mother. Amazing supporter, Matilda. I'll share on my community tab. Uh, James Chimba says, people are angry with PF. I'm telling you, watching you from Pika. Thank you so much. People are very, very angry. Thank you so much, Matilda, for your super chat and this song. Thank you so much. Uh, so, Mr. Haka in the H Lama say that uh, when he forms government next year, courtesy of our people and God and God's will, ours will be to fix the economy and not Lungo or indeed those cheating people that we are going to fix them. So his focus will be on fixing the economy. If anything, only a small clique of the corrupt PF is worried about our government because if you are clean, finish emulating, what are you scared of? Yeah. Um, it was a really powerful statement. Um, Hichilema said when he forms government next year, you know, uh, things will change. Um, and then there's a part here that I read where he says, Hichilema pointed out, that the period from 2016 to now has been headlined by obvious autocracy and also shady mass accumulation of wealth among the PF officials. You know about the 48 houses, you know about the fire trucks, you know about so many corrupt deals that are in the public uh, I that you know these guys have used to amount a mass of wealth. Most of those uh, these people in PF had no income to live on for a day or a week just before 2011. You see why I'm saying it's very good for you to pick a leader who is a millionaire that knows what he's doing. Or 2016, he said. So how can they be uh, this philanthropic today in less than 10 years? It's impossible for someone to be very, uh, to be a giver. <laughs> Matilda, you can drop your link as well since you're a, you're a moderator. Hi, Derek says he's watching me from Kawe. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, Kelly says, yes, dear, we're willing. I'm happy people are willing for change. Are willing to hear. I'm, I'm happy that people are willing to change government. Uh, James Simuchimba, uh, here in Pika, we don't, um, we don't have cards, please. We really want the cards. We love you, my sister, behind your full time forward. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get some information about who your MP is that side. Um, so the president of UPND, Mr. Akainde Hichilema, has been questioning, you know, how can people who've only um, just been in government since 2016 uh, acquire 
you know, so much wealth. And some of them before 2011 had not even income, no salary. And all of a sudden they are rich. The only money you can hastily throw around is one you have not worked for. That's why you see them putting money in personal investments that they have completely no knowledge about. That's the undeserved income. Yeah. That's what undeserved income does. That's what Ms. Avenida says. It makes you to start building castles in the air. And I hope you understand that. The opposition leader said his explanation is aimed at giving Zambians a clear picture of why most people in PF are afraid of losing power. It's nothing but their theft of public resources and how they have mistreated us, including other people who have called out their dictatorial rule, said Hichilema. But like I said the other time, we are seeking to go into government to fix the mess that PF has designed. And those who are clean have completely nothing to worry about our government. That's a really powerful statement. So I wanted to just speak to you people if you are ready for change. And I'm so proud of everyone who supported me on my YouTube channel. Um, um, yes, Michael says UPND too has to be careful on bringing all the you know, corrupt leaders on others must be, you know, on the book. Um, thank you so much, Penyani from Cape Town. Good to see you. Um, yes, Esau says, Esau Mbao says, we are tired of uh, this stupid government. 2021 is change. Chabe in Chiwombo, all committee resigned. Wow. Okay, so we have already formed government. <laughs> We're just waiting for the voting. Thank you so much. Uh, Matilda says, we need to change in Zambia. Things have gone so bad. Too much corruption, anger. Today, the pound is 26 kwacha. <laughs> oh, uh, Roy, how are you? All the way from Namibia. Thank you so much. Um, Toby, is it to Bay? Mark Frost says, I admire people who are fearless in fighting against the wrongs of the, that the country has become accustomed to. I hope when you form government, you don't forget the cries of the common man. No, I won't. Uh, Trish Ford Shimichimba says, Lungo and his government, they have failed. Look at um, the way they are treating civil servants. No salary increment in 2018. Increment was 9%. Uh, 2019, 4%. And this year, they are quiet. Not even negotiations. Felix Lukaki says, Edith thinks she will take UPND down because she dreams a lot. Okay. Um, Precious Mombe says, for example, Lukasha, aspiring candidate, not happy he just jumped from PF. Uh, as for that one, when you're an aspiring candidate um, and you've jumped from another political party to our party, uh, they will be assessed on merit. You know, everyone is free to aspire, but they will be assessed. It doesn't mean they are guaranteed that they will be adopted. Thank you for the good work you are doing in Zambia. Make Zambia great again. Thank you so much. So everybody, thank you so much. I didn't want to keep you long. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget as well to support my initiative of the eggs. The more you support, the more the people will think that there is people that can support us. Even if Mr. Haga in H. Lema is rich, there are people who are called friends of UPND that donate. You know, we all need support. Kelly says upgrading salaries is an issue, dear. Teachers are suffering, especially maths and science teachers, even if they have degrees. And then there's no jobs. To be McFrost, same here. That's why we need uh, some of us send financial support instead. Yes, so because you're not on ground, you can't be here. Send financial support and you will see the work being done. You know that I will deliver. Don't actually say scars of the mother. Good movie. We'll watch it after the life. Well done, Matilda. Keep it up. Shenik said, I just finished watching Sia One, and honestly, and hearing what he was saying scares me to think we might become the next Zimbabwe. Let's not have so much fear. Things will be better. If we don't give UPND a chance, yes, we stand a chance of becoming the next Zimbabwe. So we need to make sure we vote these people out. So thank you so much um, for your support, your love on this YouTube platform. Na totela sana. I know when people come and watch this video, they'll be wondering when I went live. I go live, you know, randomly. 
but you can make a date with me at least most of the time 7 p.m british time i am alive uh, we shall send money in september thank you so much nyota says she'll send some money in september thank you so much sis i am so grateful so please and please and please i am about to call the gentleman from the uk that was about to call me elias musha is live okay is he live now uh i think so let's hope you won't change like the way people have changed you see for me um i am going in government as somebody who believes in god oh thank you so much matilda matilda says she's going to donate 300 dollars next week thank you so much sis and once you donate that 300 dollars at least it can buy trays of eggs for the people of Monali. At least we're supporting people. These are all proposals from people. So I'm so grateful. Uh, who is aspiring in Mandevo? There is somebody. I've forgotten the name. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, wow. Say, Kennedy says you can be a good vice president in UPND. Muka Kennedy, thank you so much. Who knows? God will elevate me somewhere one of these days. We love you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Okay. Elias Musha is live as well. Okay. So people can one watch Elias Musha. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Matilda Foundation will also donate. That would be good, Matilda, when you donate. When you donate, it will be amazing. And I will tell my people that this is coming from Matilda Foundation. Uh, who are donating and you know people who know and believe in the fact that when I say that I have supporters and I will say look this has come all the way from somebody who's in Australia who has donated thank you so much everybody love you oh hold on